Hello everyone, Banyuki here with another video and this time I'm going to be talking about the Raspberry Pi 4 and its 240p output. I've been reading forums and people keep saying that no it's not possible or uh, just get a Pi 3 and you're good to go but I've been looking at all the drama online, well not really drama but all the, the chatter and people seem to have just written off the Pi 4 saying that it's not capable of outputting 240p. Now viewers of my channel will know that about, oh, I want to say about a year, actually like two years ago, I put out a video saying that, hey, RetroTank Ultimate, you can get RGBS and uh, YPBPR, no problem, out of the Pi 4. Um, you can get this video out, but unfortunately, for some reason, I just keep getting black and white, and I've never been able to fix it. So, uh, reading about the new nightly builds for Laka with the inclusion of Vulcan, I figured I'd give it a shot. And as I was playing around with it, I was having some trouble using the Retro Tank Ultimate, I think, because they moved over to an actual legit Raspberry Pi 4 uh, driver and kernel and all the good stuff that you want to have. As you can see now, the OS, it says Linux 5.1. I believe the last one was like 4.14 or something like that. So they've actually really, even though there hasn't been an official release of Laka in a while, they have been doing a lot of work on the back end, and it's nice to see. So uh, I know it's difficult to see right now, but it does says April 26, 2021, the build date. Let me see if I can get Street Fighter 3. And that's what I'm using as Street Fighter 3 right now because basically... Um, I have Mr. in here. It's one of my main go-tos when it comes to arcade games, but Mr. currently does not support CPS3. So this is a good time to actually have something set up where, hey, I have Mr. handling the load of most of my stuff with its cores, especially the arcade stuff, but I do have a Pi 4 right there. As you can see, you can see the HDMI. Uh, mini HD, excuse me, micro HDMI going to the YPBPR converter, and that's going over to my component switcher, which feeds into the TV. Now, for those of you who don't actually believe me for whatever reason, uh, we'll go through the settings right here. So, April 26th, which was yesterday, and you can come on down and see that this is the RPI, uh, the RPI 4 ARM version. Um, previous editions, you would see it say. RPI 2 dot uh, RPI 4 because they were just like basically uh, I, I don't know exactly how Laka was working but it wasn't really utilizing all the features of the 4 plus when it was coming out the 4 wasn't really mature but now they're getting to the point where you get things like this where it'll now say Vulcan support is yes OpenGL support is yes. OpenGL ES support is yes. So it has a lot more features going on with the latest version. I don't know when they're going to put an official version out, like a version 2.4, 2.5. I saw on the roadmap they were working towards a Laka 3.0, and I believe they're well on the way. So I was able to get this going on my regular 4K monitor or, or screen, and I did use Vulkan. And it brought a lot of the advantages that Vulcan usually brings. So on the cores that I was using, which would happen to be like the 16-bit cores and the arcade cores, I noticed um, hard GPU sync is no longer needed anymore. So for those out there who really struggle trying to get that extra little ounce of performance, Vulcan, at least in the cores that I was using, which is the Final Burn uh, Neo and Super Nintendo, those are the two that I tried out, just to, just to see how they were doing. I noticed the Vulcan API helped out a little bit just because it gives you that, um, I think it's called like hardware uh, fencing or stencil. I forgot what it's called. I'm not really into the whole API talk, but it is something there. It's free performance. Uh, at least it was on my end, so you might as well try it out. But the problem I'm having is whenever I go to actually, um, whenever I go to actually use Vulcan on um, this guy it's like you can see there it goes Vulcan since I'm trying to output 240p when I go to Vulcan I just get a black screen I've tried it with first I was trying with my uh the retro Twink ultimate to try to get it going I could not get much going I would get a screen but it would look all jacked up it, it wasn't working so in that sense yes the retro Twink ultimate at least with the settings that I was using before 
this latest nightly build with the latest driver and the latest kernel, it does not work. But, I mean, you could just get yourself a nice little $10, um, in this case, it was like a $10 converter HDMI to YPBR. I'll try to zoom in, see if you guys can see. Um, let's see. It's just a regular, it's just a regular rinky-dink converter. It's nothing special. I mean, I don't consider anything special, but it did work and it works fine for me. So that looks like it's, you guys get a good eye. It's just a regular rinky-dink converter. So it's nothing, it's nothing uh, special. You, I bought it on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So, but you can see here that it's looking fine. I mean, things look clean using OpenGL. Um, I haven't noticed any downgrades or anything of the sort, so it's not like it's gone down in performance. So you might it might behoove yourself if you actually went and actually said, hey, I'm going to update my, my Pi, and uh, I have one of these little adapters rolling around. I could put my settings. It's really simple. Because you're not using a hat, you don't have to do all this trickery of getting GPIO to work. I just put down HDMI mode, uh, I think it's mode one, which is CEA and, uh, no, excuse me, group one and mode eight or mode 12. And I'm just getting 640 by 240, which is fine. I mean, I, I'm, I don't need super resolution for these games, but it looks clean. I mean, it's, it's YPBPR. It's not too different. So uh, I'm just putting this out there that the Raspberry Pi 4 can do this, uh, at least with Laka, and it looks fine. I mean, look at it. It looks sharp. It looks crisp. Um... And I don't think CPS3 is going to be coming to the Mister at least for another year, year and a half. I mean, they've got, they've still got to finish CPS2, and then you got PlayStation coming out. So I don't think it's going to be coming out for a while. And to the meantime, you I mean you get your nice little Raspberry Pi 4 that you get for like 40 bucks. You buy yourself like a little, um, you know, in, here in the states, you could just use a little converter there, HDMI to uh, YPBPR. You set up the modes, and you're good to go. I mean, a lot of the hats and stuff are. I wouldn't say they're obsolete. They have their uses. I mean, Pi Jam is still pretty good. So there's still reasons to have it, but it's never been easier to just, just get a little converter, set up a couple of mode lines. I mean, I'm not even setting up a mode line. I'm just using the HDMI uh, settings and that's it. So that's just a little, you know, little service announcement for you guys who are sitting there reading all these gloom and doom on the forum saying, oh, you don't want to and you know use a pi 4 i'd like to use it it gives you better performance and if we can get vulcan going in 240p maybe it's something i'm doing wrong i mean maybe i'm missing something when i'm setting it up but if you can get vulcan going on 240p that's a pretty nice little robust system that you know maybe you don't want to move your mister around because it's a little more money involved and a little more investment but a pi is only like 40 bucks i mean i have the four gig model and it's just sitting there, so I might as well use it for games that the Mister cannot do. So anyway, folks, if you have any questions or comments, I get a lot of questions regarding Mister. So you guys hit me up on the Pi Four. I mean, there's, I'm not an expert at it, but there really isn't much to it. You just do as I say, and it should just work for you, depending on your adapter. But uh, I can send a link to the adapter I bought. I actually did not buy it for this. I bought it long ago to use it for my Time Sleuth to test my. Uh, component on the CRT so that was its real point for me to have it was just to use it as a lag free tester for HDMI so I could use my time sleuth it just happens to work really well with the Pi 4 so eh, there you go anyway folks have yourself a good day and uh, take care